back, everybody. For my next uh, performer, becoming a comedian was truly a religious experience. He was a, an art director at a religious publishing house, and he had a vision that one day he would stand in front of hundreds and tell jokes. Uh, he also, what he did is came to San Francisco and got a, got a job as a male stripper, working somewhere around town, which is the truth. But uh, he is one of the funniest guys in town. If you check the pink section, you'll see him at the punchline. You'll see him at the other cafe over at Cobbs. He's working everywhere. So remember the name when you're looking in the paper, because here he comes. Perry Kurtz! Right now the women are looking at me and thinking, there's a guy who won't hurt me. <laughs> well, it's good to be here. I flew up today from L.A. on Delta. Kind of ashamed of that. Just because it's Delta. <laughs> I made the mistake of flying with them before I was on the plane that was on that near miss. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, looking out the plane, seeing people on the other plane also going... <laughs> Delta actually has uh, plastic seat cl covers now, and uh, they're like clovers, but if you said it right, it'd be a lot funnier. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand flying, and, and I can't believe this guy tried to hijack a plane with an axe. <laughs> with an axe. It's like, this is, it, it's the old, how did he get through the airport? Is he running through the airport with the axe over his head? It's all right. Let him through. It's Jason. <laughs> I just don't understand. But my name is Perry, uh, P-E-R-R-Y. Perry's in Mason, Winkle, and Como. <laughs> so you can remember it. And last week, somebody told me there's a medication out now called Perry Anal Cream. <laughs> yeah, pretty thrilled about that, I'll tell you. <laughs> but I want to do something a little bit different here. Uh, what I want to do is tell a story, and I can't do this alone. So what I need is a female volunteer from the audience to come up here, help me tell the story. I won't embarrass you, and I promise you'll have the most fun you've ever had in five minutes. Can I get a lady volunteer? I got a lady over here who actually has her hand up. Let's give her a round of applause to get her up a live volunteer. No, Bill, I said a lady, Bill. No, Bill. Hi there, how are you? What's your name? My name's Kimberly. Nice to meet you, Kimberly. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to tell a story together. I'm going to do the talking, and you're going to be my arms. So you'll just stand in back of me and act out what I say with your arms, okay? <laughs> Look how happy she is. Okay. Oh, and you moved right into position, didn't you? Good. All right. Now, put your arms all the way through, because otherwise we look like a thalidomide baby. All right, now. You want to be real expressive, talk with your hands. Like, if I were to say hello, talk, how would you say hello with your hand? All right, I'll try talking real slow for you, okay? Like, if you were to say hello, you would wave, right? Okay, that's going to have to do it. All right, now, be real expressive, talk with your hands, just loosen up, relax, and play with it. It'll be a lot of fun, and, um... <laughs> you get a crazy idea, you get a wild idea, you want to improvise. <laughs> I think you're going to work out just fine. Okay. All right, okay. Okay, all right. We're going to start... <laughs> We're not going to get anywhere like this. Okay. <laughs> We're going to start with this morning. I was laying in bed sleeping with my hands under the pillow, which is right next to my head. Okay? One hand was under the pillow. And all of a sudden, my alarm went off, and it scared me, and I jumped. <laughs> so I, I shut off the alarm. I got out of bed, and I stretched a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, I scratched myself. Yeah, 
yeah, that was pretty safe. <laughs> and I go into the kitchen to make breakfast, and I pour some pancake mix into the frying pan. Pour the pancake mix. There we go. Okay, one big pancake. And I start I'm cooking the pancakes, and I'm, I'm, I'm waving at them. And that always helps them to cook when you wave at your food. So they're finally done cooking. I put them on the plate, and I pour syrup on there, cut them up, and I start eating them. And I'm just shoving them right in my mouth. Just... <laughs> I got done eating, I felt real sick. Oh, oh, my stomach. Oh, there it is. So I picked up the phone to call the doctor. I dialed his number. I dialed his number. Yeah. And uh, he says, sounds like food poisoning. Get down here right away. So I hang up the phone, and I'm driving down to the doctor's office on my motorcycle. <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> I get to the doctor's office, I screech to a halt. <laughs> Had a little trouble stopping today. Everything's okay though. And okay. So I go into the doctor's office and he looks me up and down, checks me out, and says, Everything's all right. And I said, Fine. He says, Well, there's one more thing I need. And he says, I said, What's that? And he says, Well, you're a little bit too hip for this. Um, he says, well, could you fill up this cup for me? I said, I didn't have to go, but this lady does. Have it a round of applause for the lovely Kimberly up here. Wrapped real tight, but he's a funny guy. That's the way I look at it.